Hi friends. I hope you're loving the series making the toys and having fun with science. So today's story is a very special one. It is very close to my heart and I'm sure it is close to every Indian person's heart because it is the scientist who made his own motherland very proud. It is CV Raman. Who doesn't know CV Raman? We all know about him and admire him the most. So what comes to our mind when we say CV Raman, the inventor, explorer, the scientist CV Raman? His full name was Chandrasekhar Vyankat Raman. Yes, the Nobel Prize that he won comes to our mind. The first Indian who made his motherland proud by becoming the first Indian to win the Nobel Prize for Physics. Sir, Sir C. V. Raman was born on November in 1888 in the city of Tiruchirappalli. Raman's father, Chandrasekhar Ramanathan Ayer, was initially a school teacher and then he became a lecturer in mathematics and physics in the university of Vishakhapattanam. Raman was a brilliant child from his childhood. He passed his matric examination at the age of 11. Can you imagine he passed his 11th standard, which was matric in those times, just at the age of 11 years old. At the age of 14 years old, Raman had set off for the city of Chennai to live in a hostel and began his bachelor's degree. He was studying in the presidency college there. He topped this examination and won a gold medal. Then later, after three years, he earned his MA degree. But then he found out that he was more interested in science. Still, he appeared for the financial civil services examination only at the insistence of his father. Even then, he topped that exam and went to Kolkata to join the Indian Finance Department. All these achievements only show how brilliant he was even in his childhood. Still his heart was in scientific research and science and then he began conducting research at the Indian Association for Cul Cultivation of Sciences during his free time. Means he was doing his job in the Finance Department and he was doing research in the Indian Association for Cultivation Sciences in his free time. His job was very hectic. Yet, he was so dedicated towards science and his curiosity was so high that he often spent nights at the research center. Once in 1921, Raman was on a sea voyage. Looking at the sea water, he thought at himself, why is the sea water blue? The pot water that we store in our houses is not blue. That doesn't look blue. It looks colorless. This curiosity of colors led him to scientific research in light. In those times, research could not be a full-time profession. That, that is, he could not do research and fulfill his daily needs. So he had to work for his livelihood and then do research with his own money. Can you just imagine? At that time, Sir Ashutosh Mukherjee, who was a professor at the University of Calcutta, got to know about C. V. Raman, his intellect and curiosity of science. He insist, insisted Raman to join Calcutta University as a physics professor. In 1917, Raman gave up his old job which paid him more and joined as a lecturer which was a less paid job in the Calcutta University. Now, with this, we could see his dedication towards science. But he was more happy here. Why? Because he could dedicate himself completely to science now. He started experimenting on scattering of light. This led to the discovery 
of what is called the Great Raman Effect. He won the Nobel Prize in Physics for his work on sketching of light and for the discovery of Raman Effect. He became the first Indian to win the Nobel Prize in Physics for this. He was honored with the Bharat Ratna by the Indian government. This is a very India's highest civilized award, this Bharat Ratna. He was married and had two sons also. Raman was very deeply interested in musical instruments too. He had these hobbies also. He was interested in veena, violin, mridangam and also tabla. He loved playing all these instruments and he also did much more research in musical instruments in sound field also. He also was deeply attached to Indian tradition and culture. He wanted to contribute and establish a base for scientific research in his homeland India. His wish of setting up such institute led to the foundation of great research institute called the Raman Research Institute which is very famously known as RRI and which is situated in Bangalore. This is a very famous research institute to do basic sciences and science research. He led a very ordinary life but accomplished an extraordinary dream. A few days after his 83rd birthday, Raman suffered from a heart attack. But his recovery was very fast. He never dreamt of a life without work. No retirement for me, he told his doctor. I wish to live 100% active and fruitful life till the end, were his words. This is the dedication towards work and science, which inspires us all to work in any situations and hardships. From this, we can learn that the live curiosity in our hearts and the passion and hard work to run behind this curiosity will one day make us successful and the most importantly, make our lives satisfied. I hope you all have loved the story and now let's make a toy. So today's toy is a very fun toy. Even if it's not raining, you can make a rainbow Yes, a seven colored rainbow just at home. What all do you need is also very simple and available at your house. So we need a pot full of water, a mirror, a stone just to adjust that the mirror doesn't fall in the water and some sun. So when we keep the mirror half in water and half in air, the mirror should be placed like that and then we can see there's a image of the sun there and a rainbow here. You can touch your rainbow, the homemade rainbow and it's so beautiful. Can you see? You can touch your rainbow and the rainbow is so beautiful. Actually, it is, to my eyes, it is looking more beautiful than in the camera. I'm sorry about that. But when you try it at home, I'm sure definitely you'll get a very beautiful sight. Please do try it at home and let me know the how do you feel the rainbow in the comments below. And let's meet up for a new story next time. Bye.